OK, so there's really no easy way to get around this problem. We have a linear system, 5x minus 4y equals 3, and 3x plus 2y equals 15. Now, I'm going to try to do my best to graph it, but I don't have grid paper. So I am going to uh, might be off a little bit, but I'm going to do my best to graph both of these. But as looking at these two equations, I know I'm going to be dealing with some fractions. So that's why I want to make sure I went through the property for you. Now, there's two different ways you can get it, because there's no way of getting around fractions. The first way is you convert to slope-intercept form. So I could do 5x minus 4y equals 3. So to convert this to slope-intercept form, I need to isolate my y variable. So I'll subtract the 5x on both sides, and I get negative 4y equals negative 5x plus 3. Then I'll divide by negative 4. And you got to make sure you divide the negative 4 into both your terms. So you get y equals a positive 5 fourths x minus 3 fourths. Now I'm going to show you how to graph it. Um, graph something in this format. So if I have a negative 3 fourths and then 5 fourths x, well, if I have my terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm trying to do the best I can. So negative 3 fourths is not halfway, it's not to 1, but it's right around there. Now, if I have to do the slope of 5 over 4, I need to go up 5. So over 1 would be 3 fourths down from the next one. So I need to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I need to go over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so that's going to be that equation. Now, I know that sometimes it's very tricky to graph like that. So a lot of you might opt to just do the x and y intercept method, which is perfectly fine as well. So if I want to find the x and y intercept, I find the x intercept, which means y equals 0. So I put 0 in for y. And then I solve. So therefore, I have x equals 5. So I go over to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I make a nice big dot. Then I find the y-intercept, which was when x equals 0. So I put a 0 in for the x. So y equals 7.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 0.5. So now I connect these two. All right. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, I said that I'm going to do my best well, you can see that their intersection point is right here. Now, if I'm going to estimate, it looks like it's close to the point 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So it looks like I have a solution at 3, 3, which I verified with the problem I did, verified algebraically. That actually is the solution, which is 3, 3. So I just want to show you two different methods and kind of how to use this with fractions. When you have a problem like this, I know fractions makes it difficult. But just remember, you're still, even though you have a fraction of a y-intercept, you're still going up your units 5 over 4. If you're using the intercept, remember 7.5 is just going to be halfway between 7 and 8. Sorry about that. Um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how you graph with fractions. Since we have one solution, we know we have a consistent system, and it is going to be independent. Thanks.